Here I want to rationalize the denominator. Since there's two terms, I'll have to multiply by the same two terms, but with the opposite sign in between. So I'm multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate. What that will do is eliminate my middle terms, which will have radicals, as we'll see in a minute. So on the numerator, I've got square root of 2 times square root of 2. And then outer is minus square root of 2 times square root of 3. Inner is minus square root of 2 times square root of 3. And last will be plus square root of 3 times square root of 3, because there's two negative signs. In the denominator, when I multiply these, I'll have square root of 2 times square root of 2. For the outer, I'll have minus the square root of 2 times the square root of 3. But for the inner, I'll have the opposite sign. For plus the square root of 2 times the square root of 3. For the last, I'll have minus the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. So in the numerator, square root of 2 times itself is 2. Then square root of 2 times square root of 3 is square root of 6, but I've got two of those, so minus 2 times the square root of 6. And then plus square root of 3 times itself is 3. The denominator, I've got 2, and then a minus square root of 6 and a plus square root of 6. So those two cancel each other out, and then a minus 3, because the square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. So that the numerator is 5 minus 2 times the square root of 6, while the denominator is 2 minus 3, or negative 1. But I don't need to leave a negative 1 in the denominator. I could instead multiply by negative 1 over negative 1, which instead distributes the negative over the numerator to give me negative 5 plus 2 root 6. By changing both signs in the numerator, that cancels the negative out of the denominator.